Being on Songland was such an amazing journey. Um, I think it was really cool being on one of the first groups. So it was a very, um, you know, small group of people and everyone was just really excited to get, um, you know, to get the ball rolling. And I got to meet so many amazing songwriters. We bonded the entire time we were filming and just learning about everybody's stories and how they got there. Um, and then obviously the crew were so invested in bringing this dream that's been, you know, six plus years in the making to to television for the world to see. Um, I think it was just a really awesome experience to bring the art of songwriting to the forefront. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't come to Songland with any expectations. I just was so excited to be a part of it that I walked in with, I'm just going to be here and I'm going to be present and I'm going to take it all in and learn, you know, whatever I could learn. So writing a song specifically for John Legend was interesting because I, my background in music, I've always been writing since I was a little girl, but I've always been writing for myself. So I learned to play the guitar when I was 12, and from there I would be writing songs about boys or whatever you write when you're 12. And then I started my own artist journey and my artist career, and so I hadn't really understood writing for someone else. And so to be on Songland, that was really my first time writing for another artist. I mean, the fact that that artist just happened to be John Legend is pretty cool, but that was my first experience. So being in there, um, you know, working with Shane and, and hearing what John envisioned for the song and he could, you know, wh how he could hear himself singing it and then taking that back and keeping the essence of the song while making it you know, fit for him was pretty cool. So working with Shane McAnally was amazing. Uh, I'm from the Bahamas and we don't listen to a lot of country music in the Bahamas. <laughs> but when I went to college, one of my best friends loved country music. So we would go to rib roundups and I learned how to line dance. And my dad is actually a pseudo cowboy. So he used to break horses for a living. So country music was always a part of my life for you know from my 20s onwards and so I so many of the songs that Shane wrote I loved um, and so being able to work with him understanding that country music is some country music is so much about um, crafting a story from start to finish which is something that I love and I think that's the beauty of music you know being able to hear from the start to the end what the story is about um, so and I think that's also how John writes I think John is a storyteller. So it was very cool to sit with Shane and work in that Nashville way of, of writing a song that just the lyrics, he just knows how to condense it in a way that keeps the message, but makes it something that's gonna stick in, in somebody's mind. So seeing that process and being a part of it was amazing. And it's also something that I have taken with me. I've already been to Nashville um, post Songland and just being in more of those sessions has been, you know, amazing. So the moment John said he was going to cut my song, if you saw that giant close up of me being so shocked, which was super embarrassing, but I was shocked. I was like, what? And playing back when you were able to hear him say, um, I'm going to select the song that made the most, you know, then you can hear that he was, but I was not, I was so zoned out. I was just, so I did, I missed all of that. <laughs> I just heard him, you know, say my name and I was, I was shocked. It's crazy to, to think that this mega superstar, someone who I've listened to since I was a little girl is, singing my the first song that I wrote for someone else it just happens to be John Legend um, it already charted on number one on iTunes R&B and it did all these things that I just didn't expect <laughs>